Airtel's decision to make huge investment on training employees likely reflects a strategic approach to securing its position in the competitive telecommunication market. The question stands, what did they aim at? Hi everybody, in FY 2023, Airtel hired 7,248 employees and invested over 10.1 crore in training. What promoted Airtel to undertake a substantial initiative of hiring and training at significant cost? Could this decision potentially have a negative financial implications for the company or are there valuable outcomes that Airtel anticipate from this substantial investment in training? Airtel's decision to hire a significant number of employees and invest substantially in training can be strategically beneficial despite the upfront cost. Here are some reasons. Number 1. Skills and Expertise By training new employees, Airtel can ensure that they possess the necessary skills and expertise required for the company's operation. Well-trained employees are more likely to be productive and efficient, leading to improved service quality and customer satisfaction. Number 2. Capacity Building Increasing the workforce can enhance Airtel's capacity to handle a larger customer base, address growing market demands, and expand its services. Number 3. Innovation and Growth Trained employees can contribute to innovation and process improvement within the company. This can drive business growth and competitiveness in the rapidly evolving communication industry. Number 4. Talent Retention Offering training opportunities can attract and retain top talent. Employees are more likely to stay with a company that invests in their professional development, reducing turnover and associated recruitment cost. Number 5. Adapting to change. Number 6. Market competition. And number 7. Operational efficiency. While training incurs initial expenses, it can lead to long-term cost saving by minimizing errors, customer complaints and need for rework. Offering training opportunities can boost employee morale and job satisfaction leading to more engaged and motivated workforce. Airtel's investment in training can enhance its reputation as an employer that values employee growth and development attracting potential employees who are seeking such opportunities. In a highly competitive telecommunication market, Airtel faces formidable rivals. Notably, Reliance has forged partnership with industry giants Ericsson and Nokia, aiming to asset dominance in the sector. Against this backdrop, how does Airtel's strategic decision to invest in training confer benefit that enable it to withstand the challenge possessed by these major competitors? By prioritizing training and skill development, Airtel can achieve several strategic advantages. Number 1. Enhanced service quality. Number 2. Operational efficiency. Number 3. Innovation and adaptability. Number 4. Competitive differentiation. Number 5. Employee retention. Number 6. Strategic agility. Number 7. Long term cost saving. And number 8. Positive company image. In conclusion, Airtel's investment in training empowers the company to maintain a strong competitive stance by fostering a skilled and adaptable workforce. This enables Airtel to deliver superior services, navigate industry shifts, and stand resilient against the challenge possessed by competitors. From Airtel's investment in training to compete, the telecommunication market learners can draw several valuable lessons. Number one, strategic planning. The case emphasizes the importance of long-term strategic planning. Learners can understand how businesses need to anticipate market challenges and take proactive steps to address them. Number two, competitive landscape. Learners can grasp the significance of analyzing the competitive landscape. Understanding rivals more and partnership is essential for formulating effective strategies. Strategies. Number 3. Customer-centric approach. Airtel's focus on service quality underscores the significance of prioritizing customer satisfaction. Learners can appreciate the impact of customer-centric approaches on business success. Number 4. Employee development. The case highlights the role of employee training in achieving business goals. Learners can see how investing in workforce skill competitive things. Learners can grasp the value of tally, decision making and execution in dynamic industries. Number 10. Balancing cost and benefit. The case illustrates the initial cost of training versus the long-term benefits. 
Learners can learn how to evaluate such trade-off and make informed decisions. Number 11. Reputation Management The impact of positive community image on attracting customers and talent becomes evident. Learners can understand the significance of public perception in business success. And the 12th is Risk Mitigation Investing in training can mitigate risk associated with technology advancement and market shift. Learners can explore how strategic decisions can act as a risk management tool. Hope you liked the video. Let's unlock it together your full potential and achieve a remarkable success in the world of business. If you are new to the channel, do like, share and subscribe for more such content related to business and finance. Till then, goodbye everyone.